If you really like musicals, you're really gonna like this movie. In the Heights stars Anthony Ramos, Leslie Grace, Corey Hawkins, and is about a film version of the Broadway musical in which Yusnavi, a sympathetic New York winery owner, saves every penny every day as he imagines and sings about a better life. A lot of people are looking forward to this movie, a brand new musical from Lin-Manuel Miranda, and a guy who is just talented. I mean, Hamilton, like, I'm not the biggest fan of Hamilton for personal reasons, but I can tell you this, it's very talented what he did with that entire play and what it became and how it is now today. But I love me some Moana and I love a lot of his other music he's made. Beginning with those positives, the best thing about this movie to me is the direction. I think the direction, there is not one issue I can find with the direction. John M. Chu, the guy who did Crazy Rich Asians, a movie I did see, I just didn't review. But with this movie, perfection. The camera movement. The performances, the colors, the look, the energy of this movie. It is all done by the direction and it is pitch perfect. I would go ahead and say give him a Best Director nomination at the Oscars this year because musicals to me are probably the hardest movies to film besides, you know, like a superhero movie. Just the choreography, getting the large frames of all the people, the standbys, all that, the music, the sound design, the performances, which is very, very key musicals because people can take that and be really cheesy or too over the top or too not good. Uh, Russell Crowe's Les Rob. So with this movie, you had to have that type of vibe to show off the Dominican Republic in Washington Heights in New York, which I'm pretty sure this movie's based on Lin-Manuel Miranda's something to do with him. I read a few things. I know this is based on a play with, he wrote with another woman and she wrote the script. The stories by him and her, he produced it, he obviously made all the songs, which the songs are great. I mean, the choreography, the musical numbers, I mean, it is just, it is beautiful to look at. Like I said, the whole movie looks gorgeous and there are certain scenes with the music and the beat and the how they're talking fast, the, the movement, it was just it was pretty. It was just pretty to look at. I was in awe. I was smiling throughout this entire runtime. The movie just brings that energy and that enthusiasm of just great performers, great songs. My favorite song has to be 96,000. Like that has, that's probably my favorite one. That one just really stuck to me and it has something to do with the pool and the choreography and the pool and the camera movement, the cinematography. It was beautiful as a person who's a young movie director who's trying to make his second film right now. Watching this movie, it literally made me want to go home and work on my storyboard, work on my cinematography notes. Like it makes me want to go out there and shoot with a camera because of this movie. That it's so inspiring. And speaking of inspiring, the story itself is very inspiring. Now it does center on Dominican Republic people and all Latina people. It's great. I love to see it because you don't see that in musicals nowadays. So for this movie to jump into that world, see how people came over to the states, see how they migrated into this world and how Washington Heights was that spot where you go with all the Dominican Republic people, Latinos, Mexicans, all of them, but the African Americans in this movie were shown off. Like it has that variety, white people, like this movie is for everyone. I love that with this movie. It shows the inspiration. You can, I am not like drawn into this world, like not fully. But watching this movie, it made me inspired. It made me want to like write, direct. It made me want to go out and dance. I mean, everyone, I'm telling you, you are going to want to dance at this movie. Going in my issues, my only two big issues, my first one has to be the runtime. It's two hours and 23 minutes, but usually musicals are long. That's just a basic fact for you. Musicals are long movies usually. And this movie, I felt that runtime. I checked my phone twice at the very end because there's a certain point where I'm like, all right, it's getting ready to end. There was like another 20 minutes. I was like, oh, and there was like another dance song. I was like, oh, and then it was like, I was like, are we going to end? Is it end? And then it finally ended. I was like, okay. So there was a point where I was like, it, it kind of was like 15, 20 minutes too long for my taste, but it was still, I, I was entertained. I was enjoyed, but it definitely, I was like, man, it's still going. So for besides the runtime, I think there's a few things 
it gets a little political and it kind of hits you over the head a little bit in a few scenes. It's not too hard because it is, it, the movie does tell you up front, like, we're going to deal with some type of issues and talk about stuff. But the main purpose is the summertime feel, the family vibe, the music, all that's there for enjoyment. But there is one few scenes where they kind of like, hey, we want this across the board. But besides that, this movie's great. I think the ads, I said, this is the summer movie event. I stand by that. Go and watch this right now. It is a summer movie. The songs are catchy. It's great. The acting is perfection. And like I said, the direction, this should be nominated for Best Director instantly. And it probably might get nominated for Best Picture. I'm going to give In the Heights an A-. minus. Again, from beginning to end, I was basically smiling for this runtime. Again, a few little issues, but this movie is something to talk about, and I can't wait for the Oscars to come around because I do not want this movie to get subbed for any of the original songs, cinematography, direction. It deserves the credit it deserves. Go and see it. It's in theaters right now, or watch on HBO Max right now. Anyway, guys, guys, enjoy this movie review, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.